Hey guys, how's it going? It's JMS832 and today we got a really special video today. I've actually been really excited to do this since I've finally been able to get the opportunity. Um, we're going to be unboxing something really, really, really nice. Uh, as you can see in the title down below, um, you already know what it is, but might as well show you. I got this bad boy today at a nice place in Trader's Village. Actually, Trader's Village is a really nice place. There's two cool game stores, one being Hey Bro Video Games. I actually found this Nintendo 64 Jungle, or not Jungle Green, but Watermelon Red. Um, that was a great find. They have actually a couple more um, that I might get in the future. Um, they're loose, but still uh, great for the collection. And then I actually got Donkey Kong Country Mortal Kombat 2, and then you have Super Mario 64 with it down below. So great guys there. Um, but uh, I, I found this actually at another game store today, which actually caught me by surprise because I didn't really think I was gonna get anything today. Um, and I found this, uh, the condition's actually pretty fair. I'll kind of like show all around the box. I mean, for its price, for what I got it for, it really isn't bad. Um, especially since it's not really gonna be, it's gonna be on the, in the cube somewhere. It's not going to be like, you, oh, you, you, you have to see the worst side, you know? So, with that being said, we're going to get to unboxing this bad guy, or bad boy today. Um, really excited, and then we're probably going to do a play test with him. Um, and I'm going to show the controls. I believe it has its uh, original f uh, factory manual still. Um, I'll have to check. Uh, he showed me it was working, but I didn't really get to, uh, you know, look all around with it. Um, so... When we get back, I will show you guys the unboxing of this nice little console. Alright guys, welcome to the unboxing part of the video. Actually, I did want to show you guys, I mean, it's pretty unrelated, but I did find this gym today too. Pretty nice. Just wanted to kind of show that in there because of a game I've been kind of looking for for forever. And I also got it for a pretty fair price um, since... Having it loose with a disc usually is about, so it's usually about like 80 bucks, 90 bucks with case. So I think it was like 115, so not that bad at all. But let's get in to the Nintendo 64 fun machine. Now, before we actually do get in though, I do want to kind of show off everything about it though. You got all this right here. Honestly, this probably has one of the coolest box designs. Like, check that out. Uh, got the controller stuff right here. Ooh. The back side, you know, it doesn't look the best, but it also doesn't look the worst. So that's kind of what I meant by on some sides it's better, on some it isn't. But let's get right into here. Ooh. Now keep in mind, this isn't like, oh, I got it all brand new, super cool, but um, it, it, it's been preserved. I'm actually surprised. So, actually, I don't think this has like its full-blown manuals. Um, it looks like it had just a couple advertisements. Actually, I kind of want to get this little game storage thing, the system house. Uh, see, it's kind of like a whole catalog right here. Maybe I can find some. They had a travel bag. Wow. I actually did not know that. This console being out, I think, in 1999 or a little bit before. Um, you know, I'm going to show you this little register for your Nintendo 64. Get registered, get some benefits. And that, I mean, that's about it. But we do have the controller. It has a light scuff right here, but let's unwrap it and boom. You got a pretty, pretty actually tight stick. I mean, as a kid, my, my Nintendo 64 sticks are always kind of like really, really loose and you'd have to go like push really hard to where your thumb would hurt for it to go, um, so that's not bad. Um, got the power cord right here. 
you know, kind of basic stuff, just an old power cord. I think this plastic belonged to AV cables at some point. Yeah, they're right here. We have the AV cables right here. And we have the console here itself. Now this is gonna be here. Actually, let's get the styrofoam out of the way. But, oh, piece, piece, piece of styrofoam got on it. But, as you can see, it's in pretty nice condition. Not many of the stickers or anything's kind of scraped off of it. Everything looks pretty nice. Can't really visibly see any dirt or anything anywhere. Um, I mean, there's a little bit of, um, I'm not too sure what it is, but there's some stuff on it. I mean, nothing like a Q-tip can't clean. So, nonetheless, not very bad. Um, is this an expansion pack? Or a jumper pack? Actually, I'm not too sure. It looks identical to the one that I actually did have in my jungle green, so maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Oh no, don't tell me. Okay, there we go. I was putting it in wrong. All right, that is the unboxing segment of this video. I mean, overall, it's very, very clean. I'm actually really, really satisfied with how well this console has been preserved. I mean, um, from what I know is... Um, this console right here has been with its uh, box and everything for its whole lifetime. And it's honestly not in the worst condition. I've seen a lot on eBay where, you know, it kind of looks like someone drop kicked the whole thing. But nonetheless, I mean, can't be really mad at that. But we're actually going to plug this bad boy in and we're actually going to put my copy of Super Mario 64 in this bad boy. So, let's get this baby plugged up and let's play with it a little bit. Alrighty everyone, welcome back. Now actually, so this blue screen is the capture card and the AV or HDMI to AV or vice versa. So we're gonna get this controller plugged right in and we're gonna flip this bad boy on. There we go. Hello. I do apologize if there is some um, little bit of a uh, little bit of feedback through the microphone, but you can see it is actually working very well. I'll press start. I have a couple saved games. I mean, it is a used game, so kind of gonna have a, other people's progress. So not that bad. Um, like I said, I mean, as for the controller, there's only a little scuff mark right here, which I'm convinced I might be able to clean, actually. Um, other than that, there's actually no visual problems with it. And there's like a small little scuff on the, on the actual console, which also really isn't that bad at all, if you really think about it. Um, so, game, game runs very well. You got your tight stick. Um, for sure, definitely, definitely a good pickup on my side, um, and a fair price from the people who gave it to me. But, I will say this, if you guys do like retro content, please actually let me know. I really want to get into, uh, posting some more of it. Um, but with that being said, um, everything looks pretty, pretty nice. Um... If you find any interest in these videos, please let me know. It actually does really help me a lot. Sorry if it sounds like I am, if I am repeating myself, but it is true. It actually really does help. And it kind of steers me in a direction of what videos I kind of want to make. I actually do have a passion for retro content and all this out over here. You know, I had my NES, which is kind of on screen. And then my Dreamcast that I unboxed. And now that Nintendo 64. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a good day.